Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to tackle a very interesting and kind of a tough question that I think has been circling around a lot of your guys' minds. I've seen you guys talking in the comments about how you feel this market is being run and how EA may have ruined the market this year in FIFA just with how the way they're structuring the content. So I want to try to answer that question today and just kind of again look at it and talk about what is going on in this market, why it's so cheap, why it crashes all the time, and how it is definitely demotivating to lose coins and how the way that they make this game is sometimes it, it the motivation to grind is hurt because of the way that they release content so i want to look at that a little bit but also how we can adapt and how we can make moves on this market and be a little bit play this game a little bit more stress-free in a way but also realizing and how ea makes the game impacts the market so much because they control this market right that's how they make money off this game so we'll talk about that a little bit but we're not going to talk about that the whole time because there is a crazy market that is starting to rise a little bit like we talked about in yesterday's video we are seeing some prices start to rise back with path to glories with some of the impacts promo cards and after the content that we had yesterday it created a, a nice panic window to go in and to pick up some cards and like we talked about in yesterday's video that scenario played out almost perfectly as we had kind of mentioned it with the content that we had yesterday so i want to take a look at the content yesterday how it made the market move and how things could go today on a monday that i'm i'm very curious to see how things are going to go today on monday because uh what upgrade packs that we usually get on monday uh what it, what is there to drop ea like there are so many upgrade packs already in this game like what else are they going to drop so that's what we're going to kind of talk about today of course with this market chat and also look at fodder because we've had some crazy movements up and down on the fodder market with maybe a potential for a, a little bit of a risky move investment today if ea were looking to drop some more upgrade packs so we're going to talk about that and more in this video if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new now let's talk about this market in general right the last two years on fifa the market has been cheaper than ever and case in point the best example to look at right now is cristiano ronaldo right cristiano ronaldo's gold card is 80 thousand coins this is the cheapest ronaldo we have ever had at this point in the year it just just look at this right last year ronaldo in a fifa 22 market that was obviously a big change from years before right last year's market in fifa 22 was super duper crazy in itself last year at the end of november ronaldo was still 623,000 coins yes his card looks way better last year with 87 pace instead of 81 but still that big of a difference from year over year on a big card and our you know one of the best players in the world that so many people just play fifa to get is 80,000 coins that's kind of crazy and i think that's where people are feeling like this market is demotivating right it's there's no motivation to play this game and to grind the game when so many of the players that you can get are so cheap right it used to be a goal of people that played fifa and, and still is to get messi to get ronaldo right i remember playing uh fifa 15 back in the day and my ultimate goal in fifa 15 was to get zlatan ibrahimovic i grinded until november i bought him for 270,000 coins and i kept him in my team until like january when he was down to like 170k or you know it was even like march he was like 170k you know this in this game nowadays you can't call, uh, hold a card for more than a week or two before it's like dropping over half in value but that's the way that ea run this game now because that's how they make the money and i gotta be honest with you guys i know that i did go to the ea event um you know kind of we're partnered with ea and the ea creator network but that is not going to stop me from being real about knowing how EA run this game because the reason why I make these videos and we talk about all of this is to maneuver the market in a way that helps us succeed in this game without spending money if we don't want to, right? And I think that's the biggest, it's becoming more of a challenge with all the content that EA drops, that's the way they're trying to get people to spend more money on this game is making cards irrelevant quicker than ever. That's why Ronaldo is, is 82,000 coins. That's why Messi is fodder as a 91 rated card. One of the cheaper 91 rated in this game. Messi is like 60K now, guys, because that is where EA make their money is they put out new promo cards all the time because Ultimate Team, right? The aspect of Ultimate Team is to grind and to get the best team possible so that you can go out and have fun with those cards. But... The way they're doing that with all the insane content is making all the older cards on the market irrelevant super duper fast 
and it's making the market super cheap. We saw it last year. They improved the pack weight. Not saying the pack weight is great because, of course, uh, we all know that, you know, you're not packing Ronaldo every day, but that's not how it should be, right? That wouldn't make sense if it was that way either. Pack weight is better, and that makes prices go lower, but also at the same time, um, you know, it just seems like everything is so supplied and so cheap that what is there to grind for, right? So it's kind of, it's kind of like um, a tug of war between those two things. And it's just still weird in the way that the market is this year. We just kind of have to adapt, right? And I love hearing your comments down below. And I think maybe some of this whole FIFA is dying off already this early in the year. It shouldn't be happening. Conversation started with the whole lengthy versus um, explosive and controlled. When they did the update to that a couple weeks ago, I think that maybe the new Call of Duty coming out kind of hurt this game a little bit in terms of the motivation to grind, but also at the same time, we're in the middle of the World Cup, right? I, I bet from a casual perspective, EA is noticing that so many more people are playing FIFA right now because of the World Cup and thinking about the sport of football. Because think about it, FIFA is the number one place outside of playing the actual sport in real life physically yourself. This is the number one place to go and, you know, enjoy the football game, right? On a virtual pitch. This is the number one game that you can go and have those same feelings, you know, on a controller, right? So I think that's why there's a lot of hype for just game in general right now, but it feels like it's maybe dwindling. For us hardcores, it feels like it maybe is just lacking a little bit because of where the market is and because of all the insane content seems like an overload. And last week with the content during Path to Glory seemed like, pretty quiet and stuff. I completely get it. But I think it's also we're just accustomed to this new way that EA is doing FIFA. And it's, it's I mean, we're not accustomed to it yet. It's still crazy how the content just drops super duper duper fast. So EA wants to keep us chasing the next card. This is not going to change anytime soon because that's how they make their money. And we just kind of have to adapt, right guys? Because again, the market is the same as it was last year. Last year was a big change. It's even cheaper than it was last year, right? That's what we've been saying and talking about. And it's obvious to see, but EA is going to keep it going this way because they must be making absolute bank, right? We obviously don't see, they don't tell us. I mean, they do in their earnings reports, but they don't tell us how many FIFA points they sell on a daily basis, but I'm sure it's going up and up and up just because of the way that they are making people feel and playing with their emotions with this game and all the content that they drop. So it's not a question of how can we change this market? How can EA change it? Because we kind of sleep, we're kind of just at the mercy of how they make this game and how they want to make the content because it's their company, it's their game, and they want to make money. But that's why we just have to adapt and we have to kind of keep up the speed or do things like we've been talking about all year long to stay away from where the general direction of the market is headed. And if you take a look at my team, and I mean, I've been saying this from the beginning of the year, I encourage you guys to run mostly untradeable squads as well. SBCs come out at decent values, right? Objectives to complete. You look at my squad here, you know, I've got half of a team that's filled up with objective or, uh, I mean, it's a full untradeable squad. Yes, pack luck has helped out a little bit, but even without any of the pack luck, we've got multiple SBC cards in here with Kessie, Cuadrado, Ribery, We've got the Telez. I packed Cordoba from one of those gamble packs. I packed Rudy Voler from my pre-order pack. Papan I packed from an upgrade pack, you know. So doing those packs and stuff like that, if you save your coins for some of that, and then you save also some of your coins for just going out and trying players that you want to try, you know, I think that you can save yourself a lot of heartache and a lot of coin loss on the market just by being careful with what you buy, when you buy it, and just realizing that anything you hold in this game for a longer period of time is going to end up losing your coins, right? That's that's something that we know now over a longer period of time, even like a couple of weeks. I mean, you look at some of the prices of these gold cards or some of these promo cards like Path to Glory is from two weeks ago. Yeah, they were a lot higher than what they are now, even though those cards are still alive. So that's just kind of the way that the game is. And yes, you could argue that it is killing off the game because there's less to grind for and it hurts the motivation to grind. Um, but also there's new stuff coming out and the content is better than ever if you look at it through that lens as well. So we just kind of have to adapt and we have to keep going uh, and, and kind of just know how we need to maneuver the market and how we need to use buy cards for our teams and not keep them in there as long because in the end, that's not going to work out too well for our coin balance because without coins of FIFA, you can't do as much as you would like to um, and EA know that. So that's how they sell FIFA points and that's how they keep this game moving to their advantage. So as long as you know that and realize that, you can 
kind of maneuver your ultimate team and succeed in ultimate team in different ways with that knowledge there. So that's enough talking about that. But I wanted to kind of address that because that's just something that has been going on. And it's been a big talking point, a really big conversation piece here recently. And I, I wanted to bring it up on the video because I'm hearing a lot of people, even in the comments section, saying they're quitting FIFA because they opened their packs, they've drained their account, and now they're done. Or people saying this game is very demotivating. I completely understand you. I see you. Um, and I just wanted to kind of bring that up and talk about it today because everybody is playing this game from a different standpoint as well. People like objectives some people don't some people like SBC some people don't everybody plays this game at a different pace at a different speed at a different casual or hardcore level so there's all different opinions all around um the you know the sphere of of what opinions you could have but you know I just want to kind of bring that out there today and talk about it because I do feel like there's a kind of a general consensus that the market this year is crazier than ever it's hard to make coins and prices just continue to drop all year long but that's because when you think it through, that helps EA make money on this game. So let's talk about this market though, and let's swip, flip the switch and transition to talking about what's happening today on this game on Monday. Because Mondays are usually big upgrade pack days, right? But what in the world are we gonna get for an upgrade pack unless EA dropped the Max 89 Hero World Cup SBC once again? We already have multiple upgrade packs in terms of the 85 plus double, the 84 plus, the 83 plus player pick, right? The mixed campaign campaign player pick is refreshing again, um, not today, but in a couple of days. And of course, yesterday we had the brand new 86 plus hero, foot hero or world cup hero upgrade pack, which a lot of people are working towards since you can do it three times. People are still working towards the 87 base room and icon upgrade pack. There's so much pack content in SBCs right now. It's ridiculous on this game. What could we possibly get today on Monday? Well, like I said, besides that maybe World Cup Hero Pack coming again, it might be a decently quiet day on a Monday, if we're being completely honest, just because there's so much that is out there. Now, also, today is Cyber Monday, right? As a part of the whole Black Friday promo, they have been doing more Flash SBCs. This Black Friday Flash Challenge uh, it was probably the last one for Black Friday. Maybe they do a couple more of these today. I could also see the potential for a few more lightning rounds today. But if you take a look at the store, I believe everything that is in the store right now expires uh, tomorrow at content time or maybe slightly after. The only thing that's gonna expire after is the Black Friday 100 pack. So I'm not sure if we're getting lightning rounds today besides the token pack as well. I'm not expecting lightning rounds, but I think it's it's possible just because of all its impacts. EA want to make that dough, right? And, you know, it's part of the whole Black Friday, Cyber Monday type thing. So we'll see if they do more Flash SBCs today. I maybe would expect to see a couple more of those. But I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it's a quieter day of content. We'll just have to see what EA have up their sleeve. The only SBC that's kind of leaked right now is maybe a Schweinsteiger Icon Moments um, or not icon moments, but like the World Cup icon Schweinsteiger that was leaked by Sheriff. Other than that, we don't have too much else leaked at the moment. But let's talk market because yesterday with that 86 hero upgrade, the market kind of went crazy with that. And that's what we talked about in yesterday's video of like, guys, wait for some more panic and then it would be time to pounce. And I think yesterday on Sunday was a really, really good time to buy. If you got the right cards, some stuff has already started to go up. We had the Ericsson SBC2, which is decent value. Again, these cards are not live and upgrading, but for 40K, it's an okay card. Another player pick and then the Flash Challenge. But a lot of your cards, um, not these Road to the World Cup ones, but a lot of your out of packs markets, some of your icons, some of your heroes started to bounce back after we had that extra panic yesterday after that SBC was dropped. I mean, look at Kuti Romero. Last night, we were, we were buying him for 120K, and now he is really, really, really starting to rise. He was 118, 117,000 coins, and you can see that after this SBC dropped, after content yesterday, there was a couple hours of panic selling and low prices, and then zoom, this stuff just really started to take off, and it's not just those cards. Look at Bruno Guimaraes, back up to 300,000 coins at the moment. The market is kind of seemingly breathing again after it was stupid low over the weekend and prices just continue to drop and to drop and drop now we have some cards that are starting to rebound and to take off um, a little bit in price. I mean, take a look at like Wambasaka even. He's that's an undercut at 75,000 coins. Yesterday, Wambasaka went from the low 70s 
up to about 83, went down again to the low 70s, mid 70s, and started to go back up again. You see that these fluctuations like that, that tells me that people are looking to buy again and that they are looking to see these cards put into their teams and people are maybe buying some cards for teams again, which is a good sign for this market. It's signs of life, if you will. So I think yesterday in that low point, as we've looked at those couple graphs, was a really good opportunity to buy. And I do think you could see the market rise up a little bit this morning once again. Now, I bought some cards for this specific purpose. Um, I think the golds, the lower tier cards are what I like the most. You know, a lot of people have been investing in these. That's the only, I guess, worry that I have is keep a close eye on some of these gold cards like the Ronaldo, the Vinny, um, the, the Messi maybe, or Kyle Walker. Uh, some people have been investing in these cards pretty heavily. If there is any sort of panic today, I think these cards uh, could be slightly over-invested, but it feels like this market is in a place again where we could see prices rise up a bit today and then after content today stuff could maybe keep going if the content is an l and if the content is quiet then that is something that we could absolutely see but again we really just don't know but it feels like the major panic sell the major sell-off from the weekend is kind of done and we're kind of maybe pushing towards the, the light at the end of the tunnel if you will with some of these prices moving up a little bit so if you bought cards yesterday that was a big w i think there's maybe even some more uh opportunity today if there's any more panic selling today on monday i think that'd be a great opportunity to pick up some of these cards as well that you want for your team specifically the out of packs or um you know i'd be careful with the gold cards but the ptg cards for sure um and maybe some of your world cup hero cards that are kind of starting to rebound back a bit. I feel like the market maybe again as we said have some will have some room to breathe as we head into Monday today on this game. Now, let's talk fodder because I know a lot of you guys need fodder. Your clubs are kind of dry like mine are right now. You're like, "Nate, how do I get fodder right now or can I invest? Can I buy?" 84s, 85s are up big because of the hero pack that was dropped yesterday, right? There's an 85 requirement in one of those squads. 85s are up big. I think some of this fodder that is in demand is actually going to go up even more today. As people get their weekly rewards, they go out, they buy some cards to finish off these SBCs. I honestly do believe you will see some of this fodder go up today. But the other part of the fodder market that's down bad is the top tier. Take a look at 88s. Yeah, these guys were 48,000 coins. Look at this drop, almost a 50% drop in one day on all of these cards. It's all because the max 89 hero pack went away. I mean, there is a slight bit of potential that EA could re-release that max 89 hero pack today on Monday. That would be a pretty crazy SBC to release if EA do it. I mean, that would be kind of nuts if I'm being honest, but it's possible. And these cards would go back up. That's like the risky fodder investment. If you really think that pack is coming today or if there's a leak, I mean, what you really could do is you could just wait for the, that SBC to drop. And then today at content time, if you see that max 89 with the same requirements, 388 pluses, you could go back out to the market and spam by 88s because you see that that SBC going away has single-handedly dropped these cards so much in price. I mean, take a look at 91s, 56K for Lewandowski. And what, what was he yesterday? Yeah, he was like 70,000 coins. So big drops everywhere on the 88s and above, but it's all because of that Max World Cup, Max 89 World Cup SBC has gone away from the game. So keep an eye on that side of fodder, but if you still have some of the low tier stuff, it might go up a little bit more today. And to be honest, it, it might not stop going up. Depending on the lightning rounds, depending on the supply, if we have flash SBCs that are tradable, it just depends on the supply today where fodder will continue to go but this is where all the hype is still in the sbc section people are going to be doing sbcs if there's not much content today and that could continue to make fodder go up a little bit more as well it's just going to be i'm, I'm really genuinely curious to see where it goes today but regardless it is very very nice to see that the market has some life once again and it's nice to see prices moving upwards like i said with the new mini release that we have yesterday the boost gets card was my best flip on the day um i bought how many of these six of these at 175k sold them all at 215 to 220 he is back down a little bit i bought figo at 837 sold it for 937 he even went a little higher than that i bought modric at 220 sold it for 247 and i've got some stuff listed and, and picked up for hopefully a bit of a rise today on monday as well i'm definitely investing a lot of my coins once again to try to make some good profits into today as again it just feels like this market is starting to breathe again that's the concept and that's the terminology we're going to use oh what a snipe on busquets that we missed 
that would have been fantastic. So this Busquets card is mad rare. Uh, really, really big upgrade on this card. And I just don't know if he has the hype to go above 200K, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see, right? We know that these many of these cards can be super duper rare. Um, but again, I just wanted to talk theoretically about the market in this video today because I know some pe so many people are trying to catch up and figure out like what is going on with this market if you were away for the holiday or, or something and you come back to this game and you see things all crazy and such. Um, I completely understand the confusion and oh my goodness, I'm losing so many coins. I get that. Losing coins is never fun and it always sucks. Last thing I will say, potential for more swap tokens today. I just don't know how many EA want to give us right away. I believe right now we are on 32 or 31 swap tokens. I think it's 32. That means if we would get eight more tokens today, if they were to drop another one of these like week three World Cup swaps, we would be up to 40 tokens. And for my guys trying to grind Vieira, you would be up to your 40 tokens available to get Vieira if you've grinded every single one. So that potential is there. I could also see EA only releasing like four tokens today, maybe, and kind of holding a few back from us so that we can't get the Vieira already. So we'll just have to see what they do because World Cup icons just dropped this weekend, right? So I wonder if EA will hold us back a little bit in that category, but watch for those objective tokens to be dropped today in the game as well. But it's nice to see the market fluctuating and specifically fluctuating up and moving once again on this game after a crazy day yesterday. I lost maybe 150k, but I made back over 250,000 coins from all the stuff that you have to see here with those Busquets being a bulk of that move. And then hopefully even more profit coming in for me today on this game. That'd be much, much needed as we move the coin balance upwards and onwards from the coin losses that has happened over the past couple of days. But again, I appreciate you guys tuning in this video. If you do have any comments on what we talked about, drop them down below. If you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nathan for the count. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.